Welcome back. You're still watching Masha Prime. My name is Rida Kerinch, but now let me usher in our education segment. The stories from Obambo Secondary School in Alego Usonga sub-county Sea County are shocking to any parent because Obambo Secondary School is the envy of many and the face of the elitist and privileged in society. I'm on Kongo Pius Award. Pius Award uh, was posted to St. Paul's Obambo Mix Secondary School in the year 2019. So far, I've taken four years in this school. Uh, the school is a sub-county school within Siaya, sub-county, Siaya County. The school is located along Obambo, Kadenge Road, and it is about six kilometers from Siaya. The school is in Alego Usonga constituency, located in central Alego, and uh, Obambo sublocation. This is a public school and uh, it was established in the year 2003. So far there have been four principals and the fifth principal. Uh, the school has been doing well in terms of uh, academic, co-curriculum and other endeavors. My, my name is Emmanuel Jabez. I'm a former alumni of uh, this school, Obambo Mixed Secondary School. Uh, I joined this school in 2011. I, I did my KCSE in 2014. And uh, this is a big school, uh, I can say. Uh, this school, since it started, it has been performing very, very well. This school should have a, a, at least a school bus because uh, this is a big school. It is the school that all the best students in the Sierra County Primary Schools are encouraged to settle for as choice number one. My name is Ubiero Michael Awino, the chairman, the chairman of St. Paul's Obambo Mix Secondary School. In my further education, I would like to pursue veterinary doctor. Uh, in, that is because of my interest in biology and agriculture. I was obliged to choose the course. Uh, I can remember when we were being enrolled uh, as Form 1s, we were told that in Kenya we only have two schools, that is St. Paul's Mixed Obambo Secondary School and others. My name is Amonde Dorothy from St. Paul's Obambo Mixed Secondary School. I'm the school secretary. I'm in Form 4 champions. In our school, after my Form 4, I would like to pursue further with my studies and I would, be, I would like to become a journalist because of my interest in English and Kiswahili. The teachers are very responsible. They make sure that the students are well united. There is unity among the prefects, teachers and even parents. They have helped us, helped us in a lot of work in this school. Until the new exam measures were enforced, it easily churned us admirable grades that enabled students to go ahead scooping the juicier careers such as medicine, engineering, actual science, architecture and ICT related courses. Uh, last year's KCSE, our school posted a mean of 3.9, up from 3.3 in the year 2018. Uh, I want to say that uh, this was a tremendous improvement in terms of performance of the school. We were able to take 17 students direct to the university, that is students who scored C plus and above. This year, our target is to increase the number of students who are going to the university, but also improve our mean score from 3.9 to 4.5. I am Mr. Digo Zablon Otieno, a teacher of Opambo Secondary School in Siaya County. Around the year 2006, we had 11 candidates and that gave the school a very good mean, a mean of 9.7 because we had very few candidates and work was going on. Since then, the school has realized good improvement in terms of population and also of the co-curriculum work. Up to 2016, the school had a mean of uh, 5.78. And in 2016, we are proud of one boy, Kennedy Odao, 
who today is doing his master's degree under sponsorship, full sponsorship. Kennedy Odao did medicine and got a grade A minus in 2016 in the school. 2018, we had a girl who also performed so well. We are proud of her, Linda Opan. Linda Opan today followed in our footsteps and is a teacher, did BA arts at Moi University. 2019, we had one girl also who did so well with B plus, and that was Mary Okaka, a girl who we saw learning in Obambo Primary School adjacent to us here, and came to Obambo Secondary School, and from Obambo Secondary School, she went to Riara University, where she is pursuing computer science and almost graduating. She sat in 2019. In 2020, we had one boy, Abana Sobayo. Abana Sobayo is a son of this village, also learned in Obambo Primary School. Abana Sobayo scored an A minus, and this is the time that you re we remember that our country and the, 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 the world was hit by Corona. But amidst all those challenges, this young boy uh, managed to score a mean grade of A minus, and today is pursuing his engineering course in Technical University of Kenya. In co-curriculum and extracurriculum fields, the institution has mentored its students to realize their talents in all fields of participation, the initiative that has uplifted the students' morale in the field of sports. In terms of co-curriculum uh, activities, I want to say this is a giant. Obambo Mix Secondary School, Sierra Sub-County, has been a national champion in the netball. Uh, we won the national championship three years in a row, 2013, 2014, and 2015. We were also able to represent the country in the East African Games. And while we were in the East African Games, our students did very well. It is our hope that this year we revamp our effort so that we can go back to where we were. Now, other co-curriculum activities have not been left aside. Uh, our students have also featured prominently in the music festivals that are currently being held in near national school. We have actually presented several uh, uh, items which are already on stage and we hope to proceed to the regionals. Now, my greatest challenge is means of transport. Our girls have always qualified to go to the East Africa National Games uh, Championship, but we don't have a proper means of transport. So we have to hire, and this is very expensive. It is my greatest appeal again that as a school, we are requesting any well-wisher who will see our plight to come forward and offer us a bus. This, apart from helping our students, will also serve as income generating activity, which will boost the school fee payment, which sometimes is very low in our school. Yeah, my name is Michael Owino Okelo. Currently, I'm the board chair. When we go to some of these activities, and with our name, we have to go hiring, transport, all over. Uh, it doesn't really reflect good on the image of the students. Eh? They, they, it, it affects their self-esteem. And it is high time. It is high time we appeal. Eh? We appeal to our, our, our MP. Eh? Please do something about Obambo. With the help of the principal, the school is known in the Lysia County over its good and modern infrastructures that has changed the school face, sponsored by the Alego Usonga CDF and other school stakeholders. In terms of infrastructure, I want to say that the school has made a lot of improvement. As I speak, we have already done eight classrooms, courtesy of Ministry of Education. Uh, at the moment, the project that is going on is the laboratory. The laboratory is almost uh, being finished, and we hope that when it will be complete, the laboratory will improve the teaching and learning of the sciences. Besides that, we have also been able to put up a modern kitchen uh, with modern uh, Jiko, which we hope that will improve uh, the cooking in the kitchen, but at the same time improve the environment. Actually, our 
aim right now is to use gas so that we can reduce on the amount of firewood that uh, we are using. Okay, my name is John Otien Oreo. I'm here chairman. We started to build a dormitory for them to accommodate. We are going to start with the ladies anyway. Though we have already proved this our school to be a boarding, but we cannot just start at once. So we are going to start with the ladies. So in form four. The school discipline is anchored by the Bomba community, teachers, teaching staff and the support staff. We are some Mr. Vincent Ogola. I'm a teacher of mathematics and business studies, the deputy principal, St. Paul's Abambolic Secondary School. Uh, the students are disciplined and uh, from the office of the deputy principal. I'm Mr. Philip Wandei the director of studies of Bambo Mixed Secondary School. We are working together to ensure the growth of the school academically. It is possible. It has been done elsewhere. It has been done here also by students like them. So it is our belief that if they do what um, they are supposed to do within their classes, within the school, and even at home, we are sure that uh, they can get better Result. Uh, I want to thank uh, all the people who have helped us in this school, particularly the community, the board of management, uh, the teachers and students. I want to thank them sincerely for all the effort that they have made to make this school what it is today. Long live Obambo, make secondary school and let the sky be our lowest limit. Uh, these bicycles have been donated kindly by the World Bicycle Relief. This is an NGO that is working in Siaya County and it is helping students basically to acquire uh, bicycles. The way you see these bicycles, these are very expensive bicycles. One is about 25,000. And uh, I want to say this has gone a long way to help our students to reach the school because... For education segment, Maisha Television, my name is Mary Magdalene Nekesa.